How's it going guys and welcome back to another Airsoft video. In today's video I'm playing at Driverwood Airsoft and I'm using my ICS CXP MMR Carbine. The first game of the day was very rainy so morale was a little bit low but towards the end of the game the rain stopped and people were a little bit more energetic. The objective of the first game was for the attacking team which was us to push back the defenders to a certain point of the map. On this day I was running the scope cam 2 and a selfie cam on my gun and my GoPro which was mounted on my head. As soon as I started editing I noticed a raindrop was on the lens of the selfie cam which totally ruined the shot for the whole of the first game. Luckily I did realise though and I wiped it away later in the day. Before we get into the video though please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel. Going here. Well, I'm going to push there. Yeah, me too. Can you see this green? Oh, fuck. Ice going? That's right, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah. I don't know if that was a fucking raindrop or not, but I'll call it. So what happens here is I felt a hit on my left arm, but then as soon as I put my hand up, I started to second guess it because I knew it was raining heavy and there was a good chance it was a raindrop from a tree. A good thing to do in airsoft though is to just call a hit even if you're in doubt, which is what I did here. Oh. 
After respawning, I headed back to where I was as quickly as possible as I knew I had a great line of sight. They still behind the shed. I'm pushing more right. Yeah, go on, move. <laughs> Enemy down. Matt, what's that mound? I'm sure there's a guy sitting in it. <laughs> what the fuck? Right at the end, I ain't got the range to get him. What's up? What's that? Ceasefire? Are we done? What's happening here is a ceasefire was called as one player had fallen and injured their ankle. I was down to my last mag, so as much as I hope the guy's okay, it did help and give me a chance to refill my magazines. <laughs> Someone's down. When the game restarts, there's a bit of confusion. At the very beginning of the game, the defenders were given a 10 second head start to get into a good defensive position. And then after that 10 seconds, my team was allowed to start. So when the game stopped for this injury, we were all expecting to have to wait 10 seconds again, but that wasn't the case. We were all allowed to resume play straight away, but because no one knew this, we lost a lot of ground. Fucking novice. <laughs> way too close to
see anyone down there. One of the clubs that is behind the tree, there's a barrel sticking out. There's a guy. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah. I took out the sniper in the ghillie. Oh, that's a good one. You see that guy up there? 12 o'clock on eight. Yeah, right yeah I think so. He was aiming at him as well. There he is, right in front of me. Yeah, I think I can see who you mean. Okay, what you see me doing here is planning a run to a stack of logs that is very close to the OP4. My plan is basically to slide into the logs under cover and fire from my team and then just stay prone, drawing the enemy fire so my team can advance. This is my chance. I've discussed with the team what I'm going to do. I reload my gun. I'm ready for this. I finally pumped myself up enough to make this run. The team start giving cover and fire. They're saying to me, "We need. I need to go now. It's now. It's now or never. Here we go. I take one last look. All right, I'm going. I'm thinking, oh my god, I haven't been shot. Oh my god, I slide in. I lay down. I get prone. Oh my god, I made it. I'm a fucking war hero. I'm, I'm amazing. I'm dead. I've died. Oh, I don't know, mate. After that epic fail of a run, I join up with some teammates in the centre of the field. You see anyone? No. I don't know. I know he's down the right hand side. Yeah, I've seen him. A, gi a ghillie suit has just come across to this middle section. I just saw a ghillie move to the middle.
Yeah, one out on the right, but I think there's one left. I think there's still one over there. I want to give a quick shout out to these kids who saw my YouTube patch and wanted to be in the video. So here you go guys, this is your moment. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's get to the shed. When I respawned, the enemies had pushed up and taken that corner of the field with the little hut, which then led to me, while reloading, getting full auto in a fight. In this game mode, we had to wait for five players before we could respawn, so I took that time to check Instagram, and if you want, you can follow me and find me there, where my account name is Matty Madoodle.
That's what he's been holding up. See the eye, the fucking eye we see straight ahead. Yeah. The white one. See the stuck of wood there. Yeah. yeah. He's literally in that stack of wood. We can't get really further. So I can't get him. Look at his eyes in the face. Yeah. So the position that Steve and I were holding here would turn out to be a good choice. Why? Because this photo was born from it. Turns out that while we were shooting, this photographer was doing a different kind of shooting. Alright guys, that is going to do it for this part one of the video. I got so much footage today that I've had to split it into different parts. So if you haven't already, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss part two of my Driver Woods series. Also, one other thing. In the first game, there was something wrong visually with my gun. And if you can spot it, comment below what you think it is. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in part two.